Question tells us that we should depreciate equipment on the 31st of the 12th at the end of the year by 20%. We started off the year with 11,200 worth of equipment. We bought a further 12,500. So we want one fifth of 11,200 plus 12,500. So we're going to charge 4,720 into our income and expenditure account for depreciation on equipment. Similarly with our buildings, it says 2% of our clubhouse, which is 10,400. And we charge that for our income and expenditure account as well. The club runs a catering service from which it received 5,250 euro during the year. The costs of which were 2,480. So that means we made a surplus on catering of our 2,770. We credit that to our income and expenditure account as well. Be careful not to put these two items in separately into your income and expenditure account because the income is 2,770. We then have sundry expenses. During the year we paid 83,620 euro for those expenses. But remember at the start of the year we owed 900 euro. So that must mean that the charge for this year is 82,720 that we put into our income expenditure account. Investment income. The question tells us 25,000 euro worth of investments on which we were earning 8 percent, which would be 2,000 euro. Now if you check your receipts and payments account, you'll see that we received 1,500 during the year. But we also know that, know that at the start of the year we were owed 500 euro. So, of the 1,500 received, 500 must be on to last year, meaning that a thousand of the 1,500 belongs to this year. We're due to receive 2,000, of which we received 1,000, so that must mean that we're owed 1,000 euro in investment income, which we'll put into our balance sheet as a current asset. The 2,000 euro will go into our income and expenditure account as income. Our last adjustment then is one looked at previously, our loan interest. Remember we paid 1,500 euro for loan interest and they told us that that included 300 interest that was owed at the start of the year. So that implies that 1,200 euro is the interest that we'll charge for this year's income and expenditure account. Taking all of that into account now, we can go on and look at our income and expenditure account.